Uh, we should go. We should be. I should be ready in about another few minutes or so. Just gonna get my wire straight. Yep. Hold on a second. Uh, you know what? Let's get going here. My microphone on. Hello and welcome back. I hope you guys are having a wonderful morning so far. So we're gonna do another manual espresso machine this morning. Okay, so so this is Wakako. This is Nano Press from Wakako. I had it for over a year now, and I had. If you guys are interested, I have a detailed video on my channel as well. So make sure to check it out. Okay, so this is really fun to use. So this is a single dose. Okay, so I do have another modified. Uh, uh, attachment for this. Uh, it's called Brista Kit. I do have that as well. But uh, today we are going to use a single dose, uh, single dose model here. So let's unbox this. If you haven't seen it, I mean this is really cool, though. Okay. Yeah. So let's unbox this. I mean, there's such great manual machines out there. I mean, this is it, just a small unit. Comes with the carrying bag. Yeah. Comes with the carrying bag. So it's great for like, this is definitely great for a camping trip. They're small enough to fit, you know, any of your camping bag. And check this out. So this is very simple. So here's your, your water chamber right here. And then actually, if you twist this, hold on a second. So this is gonna be become your cup. That's your water chamber. Okay. On the top. Here's the top here. So here's your portal filter. And then, so this is more like portal filter. This is kind of like your uh, actually, this is more, uh, more like your port filter right here. Okay, so they are using the pressurized uh, basket type. Okay, all pressurized. And so this is your dosing cup. Ah, uh, no, filter basket for this one. And pretty much it. And then simply again, just twist, just pump it. Kind of pump action like uh, start wrestle like yesterday as well. Very, very simple process. Okay, hold on. Okay, here we go. Let me get you guys better view. So again, using manual express machine is all about the managing the heat. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is this morning I'm gonna boil some water, and then before we make the before we make coffee, I'm going to heat it up first. Okay, I'm gonna do maybe one dummy shot. Okay, I'm gonna do one dummy shot here. All right, just simply back together like so. I mean, I love the way it designed. Has a beautiful, their, their logo on it, Wakako on it. This plastic feels very nice, okay? Very heavy duty. Yeah, I think it seems like they did right. They're well done. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna put some hot water in it. So water is ready. Okay. You guys make sure be careful with it. I'm just gonna lock it in tight. I'm just gonna flip it over. I'm just gonna do some manual, do some dummy shot here. Again, there is no shortcut for this. You just has to pump it. Okay. So now we are in nice, we kind of like warm up the unit right now. Okay. So that's hot. Again, make sure be careful open the top as well. Okay. I know it might be like overwhelming at first, but once you play with a few times, I mean, this is not too bad, it's pretty simple. 
Pretty simple. Pretty simple unit to play with. All right. So let's get going. Okay, let's get going here. By the way, so this morning I'm going to be using, let's say, Mexican chipas from Good Brothers Coffee, uh, chocolate, nuts, and honey. Okay, so it's very robust flavor. So I'm just going to drink as Americano, actually more like long black. Okay, because since we are using the single single dose, I'm going to be us using about between nine and ten grams. So it's not a lot. So, so yeah, comes to drinking as espresso, uh, it's going to be. It's not gonna be enough. So let's make, uh, yeah, let's make long black. I already pre-ground some beans already. I'm just gonna prepare for that right now. Smells really good though. Smells fantastic. Okay, so by the way, so this is like their dosing cup and uh, also use as a temper as well. So fits perfectly like this, okay. Fits perfect, so. What I'm gonna do is, I'm just going to scoop out, you know what? Unfortunately, there's no good way to do this. I'm hopefully, I don't make a mess here. I know, so one of my viewers asked me just to use the, uh, some kind of paper to make uh, kind of like dosing funner out of it. But I think I might do that next time, okay? I'm just going to gently pull. So this is about 10 gram right here. So since we are using the pressure as baskets, I'm just going to go. I'm not, I'm not going to be worried about the, those uh, distributing properly. Again, I'm little steps, but it's not too bad. Okay, I'm just gonna do the rest uh, between my uh, moving your coffee ground. I'm just gonna pack it a little bit, make some room for the rest of coffee beans. Okay, there we go. So now we have about ten gram. Uh, we got, and I'm gonna pack it. Again, once you've done a few times, this process is much, much easier. So, and so it comes to grinder size for this. I think yesterday I did really go really fine. So this morning I'm gonna go a little coarser uh, since you are using pressurized basket. So it, it shouldn't be any issues with it. All right, so I'm just gonna heat up my water for the one last time. But meantime, I'm gonna put everything together. From here, lock it in. Just like so. So it's about 10 grams, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do like one to two ratio. 10 gram in like 20 gram out comes to extraction wise. I'm just gonna use my scale. Yeah. You know what, let's use a cup here. So water is ready. Okay, let's try this. Put the water in the line what they recommend because they show you the way, uh, how much you're going to put the water in by it has a line, the water line. Make sure everything is uh, tight, okay? Just simply push over. Now you are going to start to pump. I'm trying to shift for 20 gram. You know what, this grinder is a lot easier than yesterday's. I think I use a niche grinder. I think I use what, number 25 yes, uh, this morning. Oh, 
You know what? Let's do a little more. Let's do like 1 to 2.5. There we go. So I'm at about 27 gram. You see that beautiful fake crime out? Smells really good. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some hot water from my Brista Pro here. Okay, so let's make some long black coffee. You know what, I'm going to have a little sip before. So let's see here. Again. Okay. It doesn't get really hot, so I think if you guys want, if you guys really want good espresso, make sure you heat up everything. But since we're using the pressurized basket, so it's somewhat limited. Okay. So, but at least the long black coffee should be good. Okay. Cheers. Actually, it's not bad. It's really good. Very smooth, chocolatey, definitely nutty. Uh, the aftertaste of honey as well. So it's really, you know. Okay, so yesterday we played with Styrus, okay? So this one is somewhat, comes to size-wise, a little bulky. So, but still, this is still foldable as well. I mean, not, not the foldable, you can take anywhere, but with the Nano Presso, seems a lot more easier to travel with. Styrasso, I mean, I think this is really good for home, okay? I mean, if you guys are really want, have some really good coffee in the morning, I mean, definitely better than, I think this is definitely better than store-bought for sure, okay? Definitely better. Uh, let's see. What else? Any questions about that? You know what? Uh, since my wife's not here, so I'm not going to take questions, but after this, I'm going to jump into Instagram. Uh, if you have any questions with Nanopresso or Styrasso, uh, let me know, okay? I'd be happy to answer uh, that question for you. But so far, I mean, playing with this manual machine, it's not bad, okay? I mean, it's fun to use. It's about like 40 or 50 bucks on Amazon right now. So comes to price, still very affordable. Okay, very affordable. You're going to get a really, not great espresso, but you're going to get a good espresso. Okay, and if you are thinking about getting this, make sure get the Brista kit. They give you a bigger basket so you can uh, put about 15 or 16 gram in it instead of like, you know, 9 or 10 gram on this single basket. You're going to get more out of it. And I think you're going to get much better quality. I, I don't want to say much better quality, but you're going to get more. Okay, you're going to get more espresso for sure. So, but overall coffee taste found, uh, fine. Actually, it's really good. Fantastic. And then uh, uh, I did play with a coffee grinder using Brista Pro as well. Uh, works just fine. Okay, you just put on the cursor setting for, uh, I mean, pressurized set up here so uh, do the cursor setting on Brista Pro even Brista Express you can do that so so what I, I what what I usually do is got my small tin can I already pre-grind some beans and take it to you know like hiking trip or you know hiking or you know just biking one now you can actually make um, some coffee on your trail you know during the, your hiking Anyway, uh, pretty much it. Pretty short video this morning. And I'm going to jump right into Instagram. So if you guys are up to it, uh, follow me there. And if you have any questions, let me know. Uh, if not, I'm going to see you guys tomorrow morning. Okay, so tomorrow morning. So, so far we play with uh, Flare. What else? We got to play with Styrasso, Nanopresso this morning. You know what? Maybe like tomorrow I'm going to bring out the... Uh, mocha pot tomorrow morning. Okay, so let's play with the mocha pot tomorrow morning and then see and uh, see which one is the better uh, method to you know play at home. So tomorrow morning we're gonna play with the mocha pot and I hope you, you guys are having a great morning. Make sure if you haven't subscribed, make sure subscribe and then make sure press that like button as well and see you guys tomorrow morning.